When creating a double bar graph, your set of data is going to have one thing in common, but then there's going to be two things that are going to be your separate bars. If I had just had a total of students for the period, it would be a single bar graph. But since I'm comparing first periods boys and girls, but then I'll also be able to compare it to the other periods, I'm going to be doing a double bar graph. For the boys, I'll be using blue. For the girls, I'll be using red. So first of all, for first period over here, in the, what I've already set up, there's 10 boys. So you're going to take the first period boys up to 10 and come back down. Now, if you want to fill that in, you can fill it in. But the trick is, when you go to do the girls, there's four girls. When you go to do a double bar graph, the bars that have this in common, first period, need to touch. So the red bar for the girls is going to touch the one for the boys. This tells it that both of these bars are with first period. Now you go to second period, and there's five boys in second period. So the blue will go up to five and come back down. In second period, though, there are 11 girls. So the bar for the girls touches the boys' bar and goes all the way up to 11 and comes back down. Now, one thing to notice is that the bars for first period and second period are separated. They are not touching. The only bars that are touching are those that have in common the period that's listed below. So for third period, eight boys and then 11 girls. And for fourth, five boys and 13 girls. So by looking at the double bar graph, it is easy to compare between the different periods which ones have more boys than girls, and also kind of roughly to compare the overall numbers as you look to which classes seem to have the more students in it. But in a double bar graph, remember, those that have something in common, like first period, will touch. But they will have their own color for where they separate the boys from the girls. But they will not touch if they are not in common down here.